Ciao, Bella. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to another vlog. If you're new here, I'm Stefana, and today we are spending the day together in Rome. We have quite the touristy day today, and normally on vacation, you know, like I try to like not do all the touristy shit, but we're in Rome, so today we're going to be seeing the Trevi, the Colosseum, the Pantheon, literally every single thing because we only have 48 hours here. So bear with me on that, but I'm going to take you through everything with me and we are starting at the Trevi. It's currently like 6.45 in the morning. We read that it's best to go at like 7 a.m. So hopefully we can go and it's not too busy, but we're starting at the Trevi. Outfit check. I'm wearing this little dress right now, but I'm not going to lie. I do have a second outfit to change into in this bag because we might be going to maybe like some churches or basilicas where your shoulders and your knees have to be covered. So I am going to be changing after we do the Trevi which is also good because it gives me like two content opportunities ubers here are so hard to get like yesterday we waited 30 minutes for an uber and then we ended up just finding a taxi on the side of the road like flagging one down standing in the middle of the street time check it's like 7 5 a.m and we are at the trevi and this is how crowded it is right now we are going to do with the little coin in the trevi fountain that make a wish I think I know when we use my knife. Okay, we have to look up what shoulder to throw it over because I feel like I remember seeing that one of them's like extremely bad luck. What shoulder throw Trevi? Proper Trevi coin toss is done using your right hand to throw the coin over your left shoulder. I think I'm in trouble. Is that a bad sign? It is currently 8.30 and we are done at the Trevi. We took a bunch of pictures. We threw the coin over our shoulder, made a wish. And now it's a little more busy. I would say that you could still definitely come at 8.30 and get pictures with no one in the background if you're up close. But coming right around like 7 and 7.30 is probably better if you want like good pictures, no one in the way. Next, we are headed to the Spanish steps. So outfit wise, this is what we're working with today. And I also have on these little heels. Everyone said, don't wear heels in Europe. And I said to that, I'm gonna wear heels in Europe. But the white ones are super comfortable. These black ones, not so much. So I brought my tennis shoes. So I'm gonna change in my tennis shoes. And then we're walking about 0.4 of a mile to the Spanish steps. walking to the Spanish steps and if a goal of yours is to hit the designer stores the designer stores are here the Spanish steps are here so if that's something you wanted to do you could definitely do both of these at the same time also if getting a picture on the Spanish steps is a goal of yours it's currently 9 a.m. and this is what we're working with so you definitely could get a picture with no other people We are all done at the Spanish stairs and now we are going to head to the Colosseum because we have a tour that starts at 11.30. It's only like 9.20 right now. It's about a 30 minute walk and on our walk over we're gonna try to find somewhere to get breakfast or pastries or something. And then we have our tour for the Colosseum. We have to be there at 11.15. And then I think the tour is three hours long. So I'll keep you updated. We found this little place called The Cottage, so we're just gonna stop in here for a quick 
coffee, drinks, and a quick little croissant before we head back over to the Coliseum. After the Coliseum, we're gonna grab lunch over in that area. So we just wanted to get something to like hold us over until then because that tour is so long. And I got the chocolate croissant. I also picked up this monster energy drink from a little store because every time I fly, I get troubles. If you know, you know, caffeine helps. So I'm gonna chug the monster with this croissant. We're on our walk to the Coliseum, so I'm just gonna show you some of our views. We have the Roman Forum, I think the Pantheon, a couple other things that we are going to be passing, but I'll just show you a couple clips of everything. There's the Coliseum. Just went into a restaurant to grab just a couple little snacks. We got tiramisu, a fruit salad, and a glass of wine. So I also kind of just needed to go to the bathroom and change my outfit. And they don't have public restrooms in Rome. So if you need to go to the bathroom or use a bathroom to change or anything, you literally have to buy food to do it. So I changed my outfit into this little skirt and bandeau top. The place that we ate was right next to where we needed to go to check in for our tour. So we got these little red stickers and we are team red for the Coliseum tour. We booked it through Show Me Italy and this was the location spot. We booked the Priority Access Coliseum Underground and Ancient Rome tour through Coliseum.tours and this was the price for two people and then this is the description. So we are gonna be going underground of the Coliseum and seeing like where the gladiators prepared for battle and also getting to see the other floors of the Coliseum as well as touring Palantine Hill and the Roman Forum. Our tour guide just gave us this little mic pack and we can plug headphones into it. He's gonna give us the headphones in a second so that we can hear him even if we're not right next to him throughout the tour. And we just got our little headphones. The daily rain has started, just in time for the tour. The first stop of our tour is going to be the Roman Forum. It is sunny again, but we actually literally just got dumped on. I have, I had an umbrella, but it was raining so hard and everything here is like made of mud. So everyone's clothes are just wrecked. I tried to spare the white skirt because everyone else's white clothes are literally wrecked on the bottom. the Coliseum. So we just went through security at the Coliseum and now we are gonna go meet a new tour guide inside, but it's all through the same tour booking. And we actually chose the underground tour. 
So we're gonna be seeing the inside of the Coliseum, but we're also gonna be seeing underneath the Coliseum, which I was really excited for. Last night, we also did like a ghost tour. So I really like like the dark history type of vibe. So I thought the underground and the crypts would be like really cool. So we are doing that next. And I think it's pretty much the same length. I think it's like an hour here at the Coliseum as well. Coliseum and we are going to head to lunch actually someone DM'd me the name of this place it's called Mimi E Coco I think so we are gonna head to lunch there I am craving some ravioli but we are just in an uber right now because it's been raining like crazy and we just wanted to take a seat for a sec but I will show you what we get for lunch The area around my ankles from my socks just got literally flooded before we got in that Uber, so I just bought these little pizza socks because I just don't want to have to go home to get new socks to change them and the rest of my feet are dry, so we're going to change into these. so good that we literally ordered another dish to share. So we got the spaghetti oh, yeah. and pomodoro to share. We made it to the Pantheon and the line started all the way back there, but it's moving pretty quickly. seeing what all the European stores have compared to like the American stores but I don't know if we're gonna buy anything we're just kind of window shopping because we have about an hour and a half two hours before we would have to get ready for dinner We just went into a bunch of the different stores, just kind of walked around. We didn't get anything, but we are going to head back to the Airbnb and chill because my body is so exhausted, like thousands and thousands and thousands of steps in the rain. And I'm just like gross right now. So we're gonna go home, refresh before dinner, but we have a 30 minute walk to get there. So I think we said we're gonna walk until we find a taxi, but if we don't find a taxi, we're walking because we're European and they walk everywhere. Update, we found a taxi. We came home, relaxed for a little bit. I took a body shower and then I just slicked my hair back with my own natural grease. And then I changed, I put on this little one shoulder dress. I already have a picture of it on my Instagram, but it is so loose and flowy and girl, you know we're eating tonight. So the most comfortable dress I brought, I am wearing. And then I'm just wearing this little cover up because it gets cold here at night. And we are headed to dinner. We're eating at Piata Romano and it's over the Tiber River. So it's about 10, 12 minutes away. And I'll let you know if it's good or not. <laughs> 
No one talks about how hard it is to find transportation in Rome. Like, the Ubers just cancel and cancel and cancel. But we finally found a taxi on the street and we're only five minutes late, so that's not bad. We got the fried meatballs, black garlic spaghetti. Clearly, I liked it. The restaurant was here, and right here is gelato. We got our gelato and we are heading back to the Airbnb. We have about a 25 minute walk. It is on the other side of the Tiber River. So we are just gonna hang out, enjoy the gelato, enjoy the walk back. And that is it for our day in Rome. And we are on the other side of the Tiber River right now. So we have a view and vibes and gelato. And today was just perfect. Very touristy, I know, but honestly, I wouldn't change anything except for the rain but thanks for spending the day with me in Rome